Hello, everybody, and welcome to another installment of the Avid Live Sound webinar series. I am totally stoked to be here at Avid HQ today because over the next hour or so, I'm going to introduce you to a brand new product from Avid called the S3L. As you'll soon see, the S3L system is going to break some new ground with a modular, open networked architecture that's going to enable you to customize and expand your system well into the future. It offers innovations such as Ethernet AVB connectivity and an HDX-powered floating-point DSP processing engine. Also, by offering AAX DSP plugins along with Yukon support, S3L provides you with a future-proof solution that's going to work with existing as well as future technologies. But let me assure you, the S3L is designed and constructed with all of the venue hallmarks that we've come to know and count on. All right, so if you're ready, let's get this show on the road and I'll take you on a tour of the S3L. Okay, let's take a look at the S3 and we'll start with the local connectivity options on the back of the control surface. On this side over here, we'll see the power switch right above a locking four pin DIN connector for the external field replaceable power supply. Next, we have quarter inch connectors for headphone output and foot switch input. Next to that, we have two quarter inch and XLR line outputs. Next to that, we have two quarter inch line inputs, two analog XLR mic inputs. Next to that, we have a dedicated USB port for both keyboard and trackball or mouse, two Ethercon connectors for connection to the engine and additional AVB devices. And lastly, I'll bring your attention to the availability of a local laptop lock for securing the S3 at the mix position. All right, here we are with the uh, E3 engine. The E3 engine is a rack mountable two space unit. And as I mentioned earlier, the E3 connects to the S3 control surface and the Stage 16 I.O. boxes via Ethernet AVB, which will provide the facility for the E3 to work close to or far away from the S3 control surface. At the core of the E3 is the high-performance Avid HDX floating point mix engine. Let's take a look around the back and check out the I.O. Uh, we can start over here on this side. We have uh, four analog inputs and outputs along with two AES digital inputs and outputs. Uh, we have a nine pin DIN that will represent GPIO. And along with a DVI connector for a local monitor, we have a total of four USB ports, two on the back, one in the front, and one internal for securing an iLock for travel. Word clock in and out. We have a dedicated ethernet port for ECX control if you want to take remote control of your, of your system. And then, of course, we have our three uh, Ethercon ports that would represent connection to the S3 control surface, along with two ports out to our Stage IO 16 boxes uh, that would allow for the redundant ring. The Stage 16 IO box offers an extremely flexible design, allowing for both portable use as a drop box at different stage locations, or by repositioning these handles allows for rack mounting of the unit as well. Each unit is powered by line voltage via a well-protected IEC power input that doesn't disrupt the ability to stand it in a connectors up position. With regard to available I.O., each Stage 16 offers 16 mic line inputs, eight line outputs, and two AES digital outputs. This allows you to distribute I.O. at various stage locations. With the two Ethercon connectivity ports, you can daisy chain boxes to create a fully redundant self-healing ring network. The Stage 16 allows for muting of local outputs directly from each box via front panel safety switch or directly from the venue software, with local status also located on the front panel. Up to four Stage 16 I.O. boxes can be in use with the S3L system providing 64 inputs and 32 analog and 16 digital outputs. Thank you. 